Where did I leave that camera? I can't, it's not over. It's not over there. Is it down here? Where did I? Oh! Hello! <laughs> Did you guys just sneak into my flat again? <laughs> you guys are ridiculous. Why are you always coming in here while I'm just trying to live my life? Oh my lord above, it's not cool. Anyway, 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 anyway. Since you're here, let's talk about something that's kind of been on my mind as of late. And that is Logan Bailey, autistic or asshole. <gasps> Oh, what a taboo subject to discuss on Christmas, on the Christmas period. It, 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 maybe. Maybe so. But it is an important one in this day and age. Because I am Logan Bailey, and I suffer from high-functioning autism through Asperger's. <gasps> This guy here, Asperger's. And if I look up what uh, Asperger's means, I can read it to you right now. Asperger's syndrome, also known as Asperger's, is a developmental disorder characterized by significant difficulties in social interaction. And just like that, if I looked up autism. Hey, that's not right. Wait, let's add real on the end. A mental condition present from early childhood, characterized by a great difficulty in communicating and forming relationships with other people. Basically, finds it very hard to talk to people, finds it very hard to understand people, and doesn't really understand subtlety. That's in here. Born with it. You know, I'm born not understanding the complex kind of subtleties that come with communication and that is quite hard for me but it also makes it quite hard for others because other people have to <laughs> have to deal with that other people have to infer like infer stuff and I'm just like what so uh, it's difficult it's very difficult but like it's not like I don't understand it stuff. It's not like I'm a robot. It's more that I just, I find it hard to process, to comprehend. Ooh, that's a bit, that's a, that's a bit bright. Let's bring that down. Yeah, that's good. It's all picking up on signals, you know, you know. <laughs> like, um, think about the guy with the lowest game imaginable. Think about what he's like if someone was flirting with him, so to speak. Now, that kind of pathetic lack of understanding, apply that to me and just being social in general, and you've got what I have to deal with every moment of every day. That's just some context for you. I have to live with this, and I've lived my whole wow. life with this, and I'm wow. gonna live my whole wow. life with it. And that's fine, that's great. That's a grey area, you know? Because I'm also a huge dick, you know. I am. I'm very selfish. I am very selfish. If you offer me something, and it would be manners for me to go, oh no 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 no, it's okay. I'm. I'm gonna take it. I'll, I'll do it. You know, I am very selfish. I do do stuff for me, and I kind of only help others out if. I get something out of it, some kind of emotional or physical reward, you know. Um, and I can be, on occasion, very, very spiteful. Basically, I'm a dickhead. I know I'm a dickhead. You know I'm a dickhead. I am a dickhead. It makes me wonder, when does, when does the line blur, so to speak, with someone just being a complete twat and somebody genuinely not understanding? I, I, I don't know. It's, it's tough. It's tough. I don't even know, so it's just whatever. It's just something I'm, I want to talk about. Like, for example, most people, you know, they have the 9 to 5 job, right? 
my roommate, my brother Josh, he has the uh, 9 to 7 job. So he, when he gets home, he kind of wants to start to sleep, you know what I mean? Because, you know, he's been working all day and he's tired and ugh. But me, my body clock is... It's irregular. My body clock, my body clock, my body clock is irregular. So I'm up at 4, 4 a.m. And he's asleep at 4 a.m. But I've got stuff to do like at 4 a.m. I have to shower, I have to wash up all my plates, I have to get my clothes and bags ready for tomorrow. I have all these chores I need to do at 4, 4 a.m. And it's really loud and it bugs him a lot. It really, really bothers him. Because of course he's trying to sleep. He's got work in like five hours. And he's trying to get the sleep he needs. But all he can hear is... And you might think, well that's so inconsiderate, Logan. That's that's so horrible. He doesn't need to ask for this. Why are you why can't you just do your stuff earlier? And my answer to that would be, logically speaking, I'm awake right now. This stuff needs to get done before tomorrow. Um and no one can stop me from doing it. No one's I'm not bothering anyone, everyone's asleep, everyone's like out or asleep, you know what I mean? So in my head, it makes sense for me to act the way I act, the, to do the things I do. I'm selfish because I like enjoying myself. So when people offer something, or I can get something easier or for free, it's like, why wouldn't you do that? Why wouldn't you? I don't understand this kind of guilt, you know? And people say, Logan, you're so tiring. tiring. Logan, I can argue with you literally, literally until the end of time because you don't run out of things to say and you just don't get it. No, I like to, I like to think I understand multiple sides of an argument. I just know for a fact that I am correct. That's what it is. I know I'm right. Because I wouldn't be on the side I am if it wasn't right. <laughs> have I been living with him for too long or did that all just make sense? Because I have reasons for every action I do. There's always a reason. I don't do things illogically. I think about things, I go consequence, uh, outcome, uh, what happens if I don't, what could happen if I do, and how does this benefit me emotionally or physically. You are reckless. And the reward always trumps the negative when I do stuff. So, I live life very, very, very logically, very by what makes sense to me. Fascinating. But to everyone else, it's like, it's like crazy, and it's like insane, and it's wild card, and it's so out there. But to me, it's just what's right. It's like, why wouldn't you act like that, you know? <laughs> but in all seriousness, it's just how I think. It's like, this is the best for me personally, this is what's gonna happen, so do. But other people don't really come into account about that because other people's happiness doesn't make me happy. Well, it can do. It depends on the person and my emotional connection with them. But by and large, other people being happy doesn't make me happy. I don't feel that good for people, I don't feel that empathy. I don't know if that's also an aspect of saying, but I just... Yeah, other people being happy doesn't make me happy, so it's like, you know what makes me happy? Me being happy. Do you know what makes me that? Getting what I want, getting free stuff, feeling good. And sometimes the only way to feel these emotions is to be selfish. So it's like, it just makes sense. But to other people, it doesn't make any sense. Maybe that's the Asperger's. I don't think of others. I don't understand others. I just want what I want. Who are you people? I know it's the case, so it's very difficult. So it's just like... The inner machinations of my mind are an enigma. It's just, it's very grey. Do you know what? If you were to ask me, Logan, are you just a dick? Or are you very, very mentally disabled? You know what? I am both. I am... Autistic. But I'm also... An asshole. 
I'm an autistic hole. An autistic hole. Logan Bailey, the autistic hole. But n neither of them excuses the other. Just because I'm disabled doesn't mean I'm allowed to be an arsehole. It doesn't, it doesn't. But just because I act like an arsehole, you can't take out of account that I have this kind of emotional disconnect from from reality. Have you ever heard the phrase reality distortion field? Yes. As in Steve's reality distortion field? I've heard it. I've read it. It's been sung to me by Joan Baez. What you call reality distortion field, and I'm pretty sure you're the one who coined the phrase, is the reason we're here. I know that. If I trade in my bank account for a dollar and every time somebody told me something was impossible, I come out ahead. I know that too. What's the problem? My problem? It sure isn't the house. Sure. They... They contradict each other because of motives, but they're both very prevalent together. It's like multiple very different reasons for each action, which again is why it just makes sense to me, but it doesn't to everyone else, because you guys, you guys aren't assholes. A lot of you aren't disabled and don't get it. The way I act is horrible and mean and just not okay, but guess who's happy, guys? I'm happy. Me, I'm happy. So if you want to know why I do horrible things, why I treat people horribly, but why I always seem to be okay, it's that disconnect, and it's me looking after myself, and it's because of the fact that I am an autist hole. Isn't that what you always want to be around Christmas? An autist hole? Hmm. Doesn't mean I don't care about you guys, I just don't care about most of you. Alright, cool. Cool. I mean... I mean, no, I just care about myself, really. <laughs> oh dear. Well, I guess... It makes me happy. And you guys seem to find it weirdly fascinating. So, at the end of the day, I agree with you. Merry Christmas to all me, and to me, a good night at 5pm. Oh wait, I have something to say!